Oh my god. Oh, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? What's up guys and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl No Fuses. Last time we had to stop those two merchants from killing each other again because somebody decided to steal and destroy both their stalls at the same time on the same night. And those two numbskulls thought they were each other. And not only that, the provincial army decided to step in, which was weird for them because they don't do Shiza. <laughs> so that was odd. And so now we are investigating to see what the true culprit is. I think it's the provincial army because they are over here trying to play games and play everything under the rug. But you know what? We'll see. We will see. those students from that military academy, was it? What are you doing here? We're terribly sorry to trouble you, but we are hoping you might be able to help us with something. If I get their voices mixed up, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Could we ask you a few questions about the incident that occurred at the Grand Market this morning? What? What does it do with you? Um... <laughs> He's like, uh... <laughs> We're visiting this town on a field study as students at Thor's Military Academy, and we would very much appreciate the chance to see how experienced soldiers such as yourselves handle difficult everyday situations. Smooth, Laura. Very smooth. <laughs> Just let her do all the talking. This seems a perfect opportunity for an... I'm going to mess that whole word up. An adoptal case study and could prove most invaluable to our education if you permit it. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, stay here. I'll see what I can do. It looks like we might be able to hear what they have to say for themselves after all. Nicely done, Laura. Hmm. <laughs> In times like these, we need to make good use of our positions. No one can fault a student for wanting to learn, after all. But now comes the hard part. This makes me nervous. Well, let's just wait to see what we can get out of them. Remember, it's not always what they say that matters, it's how they say it. And even more importantly, what they don't say. Right. Oh, it's him. <sighs> I hope you appreciate us taking time out of our busy schedules for this. Well, you didn't need to be so humble about it. So what do you want? And make it quick. I'm a busy man, you know. He's not even trying to keep up appearances. Unbelievable. I'll be brief, then. We came to discuss the incident at the market this morning. Would we be correct in assuming that the provincial will be conducting no further investigation? Hmm, is that all you came here to ask? Is that all? Should the armed forces charged with maintaining peace in this region not be taking this matter more seriously? Laura, I'm not sure. Hmm, you've got a big mouth for someone your age. And it seems you have a lot to learn about how military units actually work. What do you mean? Let me ask you this. What should the number one priority of the virtual armor be in order to maintain the status quo? I'll tell you. Their number one priority should be to enforce the will of their region's ruling lord. Duke Alvarea? As members of the provincial army, the will of the nobility is absolute. We're just following our orders, protecting what we have to protecting what we have a duty to protect. I assume you're referring to the local petition against the sales tax increase. So you're saying as long as the petition isn't withdrawn, the grand market isn't something you have a duty to protect. Ooh. Interpret my words however you want. We're soldiers. We follow our orders. That's how the military works. And we don't need some fresh military academy introductees telling us how to do our jobs. Ugh. She's got that face like, my father will hear about this. This is nuts. Does he even have a tiny shred of shame? 
I was hoping we'd be able to get something out of him, but it sure doesn't seem too likely anymore. So, is that it then? I feel like Elliot's gonna say something, but maybe I'm wrong. He's maybe holding in his anger. I hope this has been enlightening. Now, if you excuse me, I have a job to do. Fuck you, dude. Uh-oh. Wait. Would you mind answering just one more question? Everyone's like, whoa? Elliot? I know, I knew it. He had that look on his face. He had that look. He's like, oh, I want to say something so bad. <laughs> hmm. Fine. Ask it. Well, um... Do you have any idea what might have happened to the goods Marco was handling? You know, the accessory merchant, all he had left was that one sample. Hmm? What are you talking about? The merchant from the capital, Hins, was the one who was planning on selling accessories. What? What did you just say? Why are y'all looking at me like that for? How do you know that? I was on the impression you hadn't investigated the matter at all. Hmm, how peculiar. Oh, caught him! <laughs> caught him! We only discovered what each of the merchants was intending to sell a short while ago ourselves. Oh, got caught. Sir, we have our own ways of finding things out. You do well not to underestimate us. Now, we've wasted enough time answering your questions. We're leaving. Do you think the fact that they know what each of the merchants was selling means they didn't investigate the matter after all? But the burglary happened last night, and it was only first discovered this morning. Realistically, I don't think there was any opportunity during that time for them to do any digging, not without running to us. Agreed. I suspect they knew what each merchant was planning to sell well in advance of yesterday's incident. Though that would be easy information for them to learn, since Duke Alborea must have issued permits for both stalls. That's true, and the army would have no trouble getting access to a transaction wrecks for something like that. But why would they bother? Maybe they need to know so they could prepare? Prepare for what? I get the impression that the incident at the market has been carefully planned out for a while now. I don't think those two merchants being given prints for the same spot was a coincidence either. It was probably done to get them to start fighting so they could get robbed while there was tension between them. Basically, to create a situation that couldn't be brought under control without the army's help. So the two merchants were being used all along? That seems to fit perfectly with what happened this morning. Meanwhile, the provincial army has shown no interest in actually working toward a solution, unless the market manager chooses to withdraw his pe petition. So they waited for things to get out of hand, then showed up to force both parties into uncomfortable truce? Eventually, the merchants would get worn down enough that they'll feel like they have no choice but to withdraw the pe petition. This is turning out to be even shadier situation than I thought. Yeah, but thanks to Elliot, I do believe we finally covered the truth of the matter. That was indeed some very quick thinking you displayed, Elliot. You make a fine military strategist. <laughs> I just got lucky, that's all. So, what we know is the provincial army is somehow involved with the actual perpetrators of this crime. The only way to solve it once and for all, though, seems to be, well, to find them and catch them. And if this was carried out by members of the provincial army, that's not going to be an easy task. No. I don't think anyone from the army would direct would directly involved. The soldiers here are far too proud to dirty their hands with such escapades. I tend to agree, really. Whoever the coppers are, I doubt they're still here in Celtic. There just aren't many valuable places to hide such a huge volume of goods without them being found. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe they escape by train? No, that can't be. Boarding a train with that much chance would raise suspicion for sure. It's been less than a day since the burglary happened, so they can't have gotten far. What if they're hiding away in one of the farms? I mean, it's all out in the countryside. You'd never see them. Maybe we should ask around the main roads to see if anyone saw anything out of the ordinary. Someone suspicious may have been spotted leaving or even entering the town. 
That sounds like a wise course of action. Come, let's resume our search. We mustn't let this cowardly thief run free. I wouldn't dream of it. I knew it. I knew they knew or they were behind it. Like, it caught them. Ah, ah. He's like, how did you know that? I was like, oh. Elliot got those word skills. He's got that, what the, they call the silver tongue. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I was about to say, the cat was about to tell us where the culprit is. <laughs> Lulu, are you okay? Look what that nasty man did to her. Um, is something the matter? I was just chasing after Lulu near the west exit of the town. And there was this weird man asleep along the side of the road. Weird man? Hmm, to sleep in the midst of a bustling town like this, oblivious to its dangers, suggests he must have this familiar skill. Or he was just really drunk. The nasty smell coming off him nearly made Lulu faint. That's terrible. It really was! I don't know who he is, but I'll have to keep an eye on Lulu to make sure she keeps her distance from him. Hmm? So he's not from this town then? I'm not sure. I only started seeing him around a few days ago. I've never seen him before that. Really now? That sounds like a lead if I ever heard one. If he's drinking in the middle of the day and isn't Instructor Sarah, then we know he's not a merchant at the very least. Yeah, I think we should go talk to him. Let's have a look near the west exit and see if we can track him down. I bet that's the guy the other merchant was drinking with the whole time. Should be over here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Yeah, <gasps> drink. Bring me another drink. P. You. This guy reeks. How much has he put down? It's only midday, and he's already completely blitz. I don't think this is the man we're looking for. I think he'd have trouble pulling off a robbery. Uh, sir, are you all right? We can help you back home if you like. Sure, leave me alone. I'm just a good old for nothing who just lost his job. Looking after that nature park. Wish my whole life. Nature park? You kiss ain't heard of it. The nature's park. This is the northwest of here. I wish to be the park ranger for that old duck. <gasps> and then you lost your job? Yeah, I didn't know where to. <gasps> I gave my life to that job I did. And then he just came and took it all from me. That damn official just showed up out of nowhere and told me I was sacked. You can't just take a man's livelihood off him like that. It's not fair. The job was my life. My <gasps> life. <laughs> yes, we can see that. Something about this doesn't sound right. I agree. It hardly seems fair to take a man's job away from here without good reason. Rah, I'm so glad somebody ought to understand how I feel. There's no way a bunch of kids like that are going to do a better job than me. Kids, I was straight here last night too. See, there were a bunch of kids in Ranger uniforms went walking out of the town through the west exit. Weird thing was, they were carrying a bunch of wooden boxes too. And in the middle of none of that, kids these days, I tell you, you don't think they could have been the nature park? I wouldn't even consider it exactly. It's out in like the wilderness out in like the boonies like nowhere where you would find robbers to stay after a huge robbery but a park would no doubt provide a large enough area it fits perfectly yet yeah, they have no trouble stashing merchants there undetected lock the entrance leave a couple lookouts and no one was suspected thing for a very long time and if a British official was the one to tell him he was fired that's practically a smoking gun huh 
I see some use for or something? I don't know what I said, but I helped you out. Why not buy me a drink? I would suggest you start trying to sober yourself up instead. There's a good chance we may be able to recover both your park and your job. What? We know our next stop. As soon as we're fully prepared, let's head out to Little Nature Park. Right. I'm gonna go stock up just in case there's a battle. I would like to be prepared. I've forgotten where I go to get terror bombs. I will figure it out eventually. Oh yeah, of course. It's in the big open mall that they got down here, of course. Da -da -da. Wait, is it? No. I'm so broke. I'm so broke. We need more money in our lives. Take a right here to reach the nature park. Right. Let's go. I was about to go inside the house, but I was like, wait. Probably not there. He said he was a ranger. Naria Nature Park, huh? Seems less like a park and more like a forest. Yeah, it really does feel a little out of place sitting smack dab in the middle of farmland as far as the eye can see. It may have had some religious significance in ages past. Perhaps it was a place where the animists of ancient times chose to enshrine the spirits of the forest. There's a place much like that in my hometown. Yeah, there's one in mine, too. That park ranger made it sound like there would be people here. If they really are the culprits, maybe they've run away already? Hmm. This woodland is too dense to reliably intuit whether anyone awaits within. Yeah. Hmm, what's this? It's a bracelet. Hmm. How did a bracelet come to be in a place such as this? Just as I thought. This bracelet has the same design on it as the ones that the merchant from the capital was planning on selling. Really? You're sure? Positive. There's not a doubt in my mind that it was designed by the same person. Care to give a second opinion on that, Laura? I'm hardly qualified to weigh in on recent trends, but there do seem to be a number of similarities between this bracelet and the merchant's goods. So the fact that it's here means... Yeah. It's extremely likely the culprits we're looking for are inside this park. Sure seems that way to me. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go. <laughs> But take the locks from the inside. 
Hit the lock or bust it open. Suppose that leaves us little choice. Are you going to destroy it? Will you be able to? The lock seems quite solid, but my sword should be strong enough to. Wait. I'll do it. I can get it done more quietly. Oh? Really? Well, what are you going to do? The Eight Leaves One Blade School's fourth form, Autumn Leaf Cutter. Samurai. Hmm? Seriously? <laughs> They're like, holy shit! <laughs> Samurai. Wow, you cut it right in two. I did, thankfully. Spectacular. It's an honor bearing witness to one of the skills of the Eight Leaves School. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm still more or less a beginner. Anyway, we don't have much time left. Let's head inside and see if we can find them. Right. We need to find them before the sun starts to set. Looks like we can still make it after all. Excellent. Come then. We must make haste. Oh, that's comforting. There's a rest station. There's tons of little stone monuments in here. Yeah, what do you think they're supposed to be? I imagine they were made by the animists in this province. Let me save again right quick. So we don't have to go through all of that again. All right, let's go. Watch there be a boss somewhere. Uh, there's giant jellyfish in the forest. That's comforting. New. <laughs> oh, what was that? There's something there. Cooling spray. Eh. Eh. Oh, come on. Of course he's on the other side. That looks like a tough one. Be careful. No! <laughs> I don't know how much would I really thought he was about to charge at me like full speed. Oh, there's a stream here. This seems like a nice spot. Ah, crap. <laughs> I really want the treasure chest. I want that treasure chest. Enemy sighted. Take him out. Of course. And uh, hmm, I don't want to use armor break right now. Let's see fire. Ow. Ow. Here we go. Ye. Can't use craft. I can't. Oh, I'm stunned. I was wondering what's going on. Mmm. Curious blind. Curious burn. Petrify. Faint. Stats down. Analysis. Nope. Oh, apparently I can't cure anything. All I can do 
Let's move somewhere else. It's my turn. Wait, am I linked? Yeah, I'm already linked. Okay, cool. Turn to flames. Burn now. Go. When am I ever not going to press assist? I mean, come on now. Uh, let's go to sleep. Keep it up, everyone. I'm not gonna use my S break because uh, I'm gonna reserve the. Oh my! Please don't kill her already. I need her alive. You have my face. Oh. My turn. Mm, armor break. Shatter. I'm trying to see what works most effectively, and that does. It's my turn. Hang in there. You have my face. Here we go. Okay, now we can attack. Cool. Let's get everybody. Some heat wave. Dang it. Go oh, over. Right. Focus activate. Huh? Oh, that took out a lot. I took a lot too. Here we go. So fire and earth seems to do the trick. Go. I got you. My turn. It's my turn. Fire. Oh, that didn't do nothing. My turn. There we go. You still have a lot of training to do. Yes, and now the treasure's mine. Mine, I tell you. Not bad. Earth Clearer can now be used. Splits the earth beneath foe's feet. Dang, okay. Cool. So this is still here, that's good. I was hoping it would be a bomb. Man, I would get lost in the sauce without this map. Oh hey, there's an orbman charging station. See, this is never a good it sign. In the most remote reaches of the park. See, th this just says boss battle. Just says it all over. I wonder if we can beat it with the first try. I don't think I have any arts for them. Oh, I do. I got plenty. Um, let's see. Let's just give her some more HP for that. I 
I got nothing. Okay. I don't think I have anything new to equip them with, so... Let's do another... Let's do another quick save, yeah. What the... Another quick save. Just in case we die a horrible, horrible death. Let's do this. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Not bad for a night's work. Fake park ranger. And if those idiots don't withdraw that petition, we'll be able to make even more. Don't get carried away now. We get a reward for all this anyway. We're making out just fine as it is. Still, who were those guys? The provincial army seemed happy to go out of their way for them. No idea. But then, I can never figure out what that man's thinking. None of our business either. We just need to be ready to abandon this place at a moment's notice. You're not going anywhere. What? Who's there? Students? I, I know I locked the gate. Don't tell me you broke in. Indeed we did. It looks like the stolen goods are all here too. We caught you red-handed. Ah. <laughs> Let's take them out. They're just kids. They should be no match for us. Oh, how little you know about us. <laughs> and since we're all alone out here, ain't nobody gonna see a thing. Ready for the beating of your lives. I highly doubt we'll be the ones to endure a beating here today. As long as we make good use of the Arcus's combat links. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Here we go. Watch out, guys. Here we go. What's with this music? This is boss battle music. So unless they got something up their sleeve, I'm gonna take them out pretty fast. Ooh, um, yeah. Let's see what happens when I do this. Yeah, <laughs> took him out fast as hell. Ow. Right. Turn to flames. Burn. My turn. I love using this one. This one's like the most effective move he's got right now. Uh yeah, yeah, missed. But you still hit me. Odd. Still linked, right? Yeah, we're still linked. Okay, cool. Arcus activate. Ha! It's my turn. Yeah, I'll get both of them. Right. <laughs> he can't do anything. Off guard. I'll get you. Off. My turn. Now's a chance. I got you. Ha! And now you're dead. Yes. Yeah. Uh, almost. There we go. Now you did. We did it. I don't feel like it's over. I really don't feel like this is over. This has got to be some kind of joke. They're kids! 
How pitiful. That barely even qualifies as a warm-up. Well, when you're used to instructor Sarah's training exercises, warm-ups take on a whole new meaning. <laughs> That's very true. Bottom line, we won. Fair and square. I'd suggest you surrender yourselves and apologize to everyone in the Grand Market for all the trouble you've caused. And we'll be returning those stolen goods to their rightful owners, too. We would also be very interested to learn who hired you. You must be out of your damned minds if you really think you've won. Hmm? Elliot? What's wrong? I, I don't know. I just... I just thought I heard the sound of a flute. What? <gasps> See? I knew it! I knew it wasn't over! What was that? It sounded like the cry of an enormous beast. What's happening? It's coming this way! Oh, nah. Roaring Baboon Grunjura? <laughs> Help! A giant baboon? Uh, it's huge! I believe we're dealing with the ruler of this forest. What would you suggest, Reem? <sighs> well, they may be thieves, but we can't just leave them to die. We're going to have to fight it. Uh, yes we can. <laughs> yes we can. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, all right. Videos help us. Oh, uh, he's got reinforcements. My turn. I already used my S break and everything, like a dummy. Uh, fire. Fire is gonna work wonders here. I need to get rid of your friends first. Give it up, everyone. I get it. What? Epiphany? Green can now use Flame Slash. What? Green can now use his S Craft. He can now also use S Brace like Laura. Uh, thank you. Because we're gonna need it. And, like, right now. This hurts my soul. Ah, oh, you missed. Thank you. But oh, only one. Okay, so physical attacks ain't gonna do nothing. I can do this. Let's go. Hmm. I need him to kind of get out the way because we don't all need to be like doomed but can he not move oh he can't go anywhere can he god dang it Right. 
Oh, he's turning around. He's going for him next. Challenge of flames. Burn. My turn. Uh, blind, burn, petrify, faint. Oh, I can't use it because I'm too far away. Bomb. Thank you. Yeah, please come back to life. You have my face. Won't give up. Oh, he can do it again. Oh, I got rid of one. Good. Ah, uh, dang, and of course he dies. I was expecting that though. I can do this. Gone too far. Well, she needs to heal herself, too. Huh. Ow. Oh, it's about to be something. serious uh, I'm about to die I'm about to die a horrible horrible death right now like how low in health are they oh man Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Are you serious? Are you serious? Well guys, we're on gonna have to end the video right there. 
with me rece receiving the L of the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> A lot happened. And in the next video, I will be kicking this baboon's ass with his friends. Um, if you like this video, then go ahead and destroy that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!